to my channel I'm Denny and today I have a perfume collection update so I've acquired six more perfumes for my collection if you can believe that I have a an addiction a problem I do buy perfumes what can I say so the first one that I picked up is this one right here this is a V and it's called Midnight Blossom. It's by Adrian Fettadini. This right here is a three ounce fluid bottle. And Midnight Blossom sort of reminds me of the Britney Spears Radiance. If you've ever smelled that scent from Britney, it has like a floral but like musky scent to it. It's really nice. But this one is definitely a pinch more like night formula, like a little bit more muskier than that one is. I feel like Britney's is a little bit more fresh, but this one is a little bit more like musky. So I picked this up and I can't wait to use this. Uh, it also comes inside of this box and it looks a lot like their normal packaging except for that it's in a gold cap with the purple bottle. So for the next perfume that I picked up, I picked up this little guy right here. This is the 360 Perielis. It came in this box right here. I picked this up at Marshalls. It was $6.99. Usually a bottle this size is like $12, so I did save some money. This one right here is a 0.5 fluid ounce. And this right here is a very soft floral scent to it this is a pretty uh older perfume a lot of people do recognize it and know it in its like big form so yeah i got this for my collection even though it's just a small bottle then the next perfume that i picked up is this guy right here so op actually stands for ocean pacific and this one right here is the simply sun and it came in this box this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle this one is supposed to be like a vibrant floral uh pear scented perfume it should have some hints of melon as well i find that this one i can pick up the floral but i don't smell any of the fruit scents and it is a more like nighttime friendly perfume if you're gonna go out it stays on your skin for a long time and this is a rather inexpensive brand and you can find it in a lot of retailers the next perfume that I have is also from Ocean Pacific and it's this one which is summer breeze it came inside of this box and this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle as well this one is not my favorite scent it kind of reminds me of like the light blue by Dolce & Gabbana it has like a very like citrusy smell to it where the picture indicates that it's supposed to be beachy but to me I'm getting a lot of like fruity scents out of this and it's not my favorite but I did purchase it so I will be using it and the next perfume that I have here is from Ellen Tracy and it is Pretty Petals. I don't know if you can see the bottle really well. Right here is a 2.5 fluid ounce bottle and it is a floral scent. I don't pick up any musk in this one. It just smells kind of fresh and like a bouquet of flowers. I mean it is called Pretty Petals so that is what I'm kind of getting out of this scent. And then the last perfume that I picked up is this one right here, which is from Davidoff, and it's Cool Water Sea Rose Caribbean Summer Edition. So it came inside of this box, and it is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. This one right here has an interesting scent to it. When you first spray it, it has like a lemon like zesty type scent to it that really does indicate summer but then as it starts drying down the notes kind of shift and change and it actually reminds me of J'adore by Dior for some reason but once it's dried down on my skin 
skin chemistry that's what it sort of smells like to me it's a very interesting scent it does not remind me of the original cool waters at all it has like a polar opposite type scent to it and I I like it but the when you first spray it it kind of I can't even explain like the smell that you first get because it's like a lemon but like like if there's some other plant in there with the lemon some type of flower and then the lemon probably like a daisy or something if you were to smash up like a daisy uh, and then eventually it does smell more sweet on your skin so this is definitely an interesting scent for my collection those are all the perfumes that I've added recently to my collection I know that it is growing please let me know in the comments if you want to see an updated version of my perfume collection I can definitely film that I do have a lot of different perfumes at this moment so it would be kind of cool to just redo my video and show you guys everything that I have but I will only do that if you guys want me to film that video so please go ahead and leave that in the comments below go ahead and give this video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already become a member of my guns fam and as always from my house to yours love ya